Have you wondered why sometimes the crease of your nose is a little bit red and sometimes has flaky bits of skin and matter there? Hi, I'm board certified dermatologist and skin wellness expert, Dr. Cynthia Bailey. And the crease of the nose is a common site for seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is a skin condition that is also very common and that we can struggle with from cradle to grave. There are times in our life when we're more prone to seborrheic dermatitis. For example, the acne prone years. When the oil glands in the crease of the nose are cranking out a bunch of oil, they also seem to invite seborrheic dermatitis. And so very commonly my acne patients will be telling me about their struggles with their acne skin problem. And in addition, they ask me, so why is my nose red and why is there dry, dry skin in there when my face is so oily? Well, the flakes aren't actually dry skin. They're a manifestation of seborrheic dermatitis, a rash. And the reason there are flakes there is because seborrheic dermatitis involves the areas of the skin here. The flakes occur because the dead skin cell layer is produced very rapidly and the skin is churning out more than it can exfoliate invisibly. There's inflammation in the epidermal layer here and in the dermis here. This inflammation in this layer you see as redness. The, we say hyperproliferation of dead skin cells you see as flakes. In addition, all of this inflammation and rash that is occurring here is causing a break in the skin. And you'll notice that the skin is a little more prone to irritation. In the acne prone years, that's important because many of the medicines we use to treat acne are a little irritating, and that will cause the redness to show even a little bit more. The other time of life where we're really prone to seborrheic dermatitis is middle-aged, onward. So we sometimes get a little break in childhood and we sometimes get a little break in our early adult years, although not always. But middle-aged onward is another time that we manifest seborrheic dermatitis. And the other places you may see seborrheic dermatitis include the brows where there's some redness and irritated skin and flaking. The sides of the nose where again there's redness and patients there often think that the skin is dry but it's not dry, putting moisturizers on doesn't help, and it tends to be reoccurrent. It feels dry though. And then the seborrhea travels down the crease of the nose, the nasolabial fold, and down to the chin. You can have it in front of the ear, on the ear, behind the ear, and of course, seborrheic dermatitis, which is also called dandruff, occurs on the scalp as well. So if you have redness and flaking in the crease of the nose, you may have seborrhea in those other areas as well. What do you do about seborrheic dermatitis in the crease of your nose? Well, we dermatologists use medicated facial cleansers that will leave behind a little medicated ingredient to help to treat the seborrhea. We don't know why people get seborrheic dermatitis, so we don't know exactly why the remedies work, but what we typically use are anti-yeast, anti-fungal ingredients, such as pyrithione zinc. And some of my favorite products that deliver pyrithione zinc to the skin are here. You can use them in a bar soap form, or you can use them in a foaming product if your skin is really oily. In addition, I like using an exfoliative facial sponge with a lather of the bar soap or a little of the foaming cleanser and wet the, wet the sponge, wet your face, and exfoliate very gently here to help remove the scales so that it doesn't reoccur rapidly. In addition, we find that seborrheic dermatitis seems to respond to topical green tea. In my practice, I've used it for years. Again, we don't know exactly why, but green tea in the form of a cream can be easily applied to the facial skin. You don't need very much, a tiny little bit on the sides of the nose, and that often helps. If this isn't working, there are also topical over-the-counter products that you can use that are medicated. My favorite there would be clotrimazole, which is an anti-yeast ingredient that treats athlete's foot and other yeast and fungal conditions, and that can be applied to the crease of the nose. If that alone isn't working, it's time to see your dermatologist. I hope that helped explain 
the redness and flakiness that we often suffer from in the crease of our nose. If you found that helpful, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you know someone who's struggling with redness and flakiness in the crease of their nose, I appreciate you sharing the video. And if you have any questions or if you have any great stories about what you found to help the, the redness and flakiness in the crease of your nose, I'd love for you to share them. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.